Well, it's uh, a sure sign the holiday season is now in full swing. Happening today, the grand illumination at Peddler's Village in Bucks County. But before Santa makes his yearly appearance tonight, the gingerbread gazebo opens to the public this morning. I mean, as news reporter Jan Carabeo is joining us here with a sneak preview inside. Jan. Jim and Janelle, good morning. The folks at Peddler's Village are calling this one of the best years yet for the annual gingerbread house contest and display. Close to 100 handmade houses await visitors when the gazebo doors open in just a few hours. From the most traditional Santa on the night before Christmas to the Santa of our nightmares in Santa Jaws. Nothing says the holidays in Bucks County quite like the gingerbread competition and display at Peddler's Village. Every time you open that door, it's wonderful. A winter wonderland, the air sweet from the icing turned icicles, the sights splendid with colorful confections, dazzling in twinkle lights. You gotta come, smell it, see it, take lots of pictures. And this year, a near record 96 gingerbread houses compete in seven categories, from traditional gingerbread to authentic recreations, to the movies, complete with that famous scene from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Plus new this year, Christmas firehouses and stunning pieces in 3D. Now this one's almost a scale. I here. know it is, isn't it? It's, it's, <laughs> when that came in, we were like, <gasps> you know, it was like. Handle with yeah, care. Yeah, everybody comes in handling with care. And no Philly Christmas is complete without a gritty good enough to eat. That's the one thing the real gritty is. Yeah, no, right, so he's edible. This is no easy feat either. Some bakers have been working on these winter scenes since the middle of summer. Some will start in July and they start baking and they start creating and then they have their fallouts and then they rebuild and they have their fallouts again until they get it right. Even the kids are stepping up their game. They have said they've been watching cooking shows. These kids, when they move up, they're, they're gonna knock out some people because <laughs> they're doing a great job. So take a lap and make sure to peek inside every window. You just never know what you'll find. I, I think everybody's done a really good job this year. It's really hard to, to say even what's my favorite or, or anybody's. I, I, I think everybody has something here that they'll like and, and fall in love with. The gingerbread houses are on display starting at 10 o'clock this morning at Peddler's Village. It is all free and open to the public through January 4th. Guess what, you guys? I know all of the winners. Now, oh, okay. I'm not going to give it away because I want you to go to Peddler's <laughs> Village to secret. take a look. Yeah. However, uh -huh. a little inside tip here. You did see the grand prize winner in our story. So oh. you just have to kind of look around and maybe wow. you can pick it out. Oh, you know, right? these cooking shows, I watched that great British Bake Off yes. thing on uh -huh. Netflix and I'm obsessed with this. So I can't make any of it. <laughs> Yeah. It, but I can still dream. But it's just amazing how intricately designed those gingerbread houses are. So wow. impressive and how there. How long it takes, yeah, too. Months. Yeah. Thank you, Jan. Jan, very Appreciate nice it. things. And of course, CBS 3's Holly Fest kicks off today. Meteorologist Kate Bilo will be at Peddler's Village for the Grand Illumination celebration. And tune in this afternoon starting at 4 p.m. to see all of the fun. Kate will help flip the switch on thousands of dazzling lights to illuminate Peddler's Village. Looking forward to that.